We're going to turn now to the big story of battle brewing in our state capital. Lawmakers pushing to ban sanctuary cities right here in Michigan. Two new bills would force local governments to cooperate with federal officials investigating a person's immigration status. They would also prohibit local policies that instruct police not to detain someone solely for being undocumented. And tonight we want to know what you think. Should the state ban sanctuary cities? All you have to do is go to WXYZ.com vote and let us know. Our big story coverage begins with 7 Action News reporter Jen Shans. And Jen, a lot of controversy surrounding these bills. Yeah, Glenda, and this is not the first time state lawmakers have considered similar legislation. Similar measures were proposed last session. Now, if these bills were to pass and become laws, cities like Ann Arbor, considered a welcoming or a sanctuary city, would, of course, be affected. Tonight, I spoke with a rep from the ACLU of Michigan and a local sheriff who say these pieces of legislation go too far. The bills go well beyond what the federal law requires and what the federal law prohibits. Two bills are moving forward in Michigan's legislature, passing one House committee Tuesday. The local enforcement protection acts would effectively ban sanctuary or welcoming cities in the state by requiring local law enforcement, cities and counties to cooperate with federal agents on questions of immigration status, something currently several local law enforcement agencies opt out of. In a statement, one of the bill's sponsors, Republican State Representative Pamela Hornberger, says, quote, We are simply making sure our local law enforcement officials can do their jobs efficiently and operate within the framework of federal law. I believe immigration enforcement is a, a federal issue. Washtenaw County Sheriff Jerry Clayton says the measures could negatively affect public safety and damage people's trust in local police. If People in our community undocumented think that local police are part of enforcement. They're less likely to report crimes, more likely to be a victim of crimes. I certainly don't think that it's the bill sponsor's intention um, to make discriminatory legislation, but that is the effect of this legislation. In addition to getting rid of any current sanctuary policies, Hornberger's bill would ban new ones from going into place. We know that in areas Without welcoming policies, we see greater amounts of racial profiling. We the measure has advanced now to the House Ways and Means Committee. I did reach out to State Rep Hornberger for a comment on this, and we have not heard back from her. Several local lawmakers have expressed their opinion on these measures, though. You can read that online at WXYZ.com. Live tonight in Ann Arbor, Jen Schantz, 7 Action News. All right, Jen, thank you. And if you'd like more information on what it means to be a sanctuary city and the debate over whether or not Michigan should prohibit them, head to WXYZ.com.